What's going on? Uh, we had coffee. It is 8.40, which for us now that we've settled into this BBI, do a little bit of sailing and a lot of dancing, is early. And we're off to Sofa's Hole to try and get a, a boy to clear back into the BBI. Just as we were entering Sofa's Hole, we were looking at a boat that was coming up towards us and Nick's going, I really hate coming into ports like this because it's so busy and there's all these boats everywhere and we're looking at this boat going, what is that boat doing? We don't, you know, it's, it's getting too close to comfort and I hope that it's just going to pass behind our stern. And it was our friends Bo and Alison. <laughs> <laughs> There's a girl like waving to us. I'm like, oh, Americans are so friendly. And I'm like, wait, it's Allison. So, because we'd never seen their boat before because we were in the marina. So um, they, we radioed them and they're going to just Van Dyke first. So basically we're just following them around and hopefully, uh, I just saw, oh no, maybe it was a bird. Yeah, it was a bird. Yeah, we saw a dolphin as we were coming in. Yeah, we should probably sail at some point, so let's get the ship up. Now, where do I put this? I mean, in all fairness, there's two more boats just come in and there's another one coming in now. So I don't know where they're going to cram themselves. So we've just arrived in Joss Van Dyke. Uh, we've just come into White Bay and our friends were like, yeah, come in, come in. There's plenty of rooms. There's more boys free. It's great. And we came in and it was rammed, absolutely rammed. And there was a mooring boy free. And just as we were heading towards it, another catamaran took it, which was fine. They were in front of us so that was not a problem and we were doing circles trying to work out whether we could anchor and it got to the point where there's just there's reefs everywhere and we're not familiar with this anchorage and there's a lot of boats and we just said let's bail and go somewhere else and just as we were about to exit the um, channel a dinghy that had been saving a mooring buoy for someone else was removed so we yelled out to them, is that mooring boy free? And they're like, yeah, it's free. They took a different mooring boy. So we snatched that mooring boy up and not a moment too soon because th two other boats have just come in and there's a third heading towards the channel now. And I really don't know where they're gonna put themselves. Yeah, the boat behind me, don't know where they're going. They'll have to anchor, but I'm glad that I don't have to make that decision. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I just hope they don't anchor like right next to us. Anyway, so now I'm gonna go and clean the boat. Just in case our friends come over. So yeah. Oh, and I lost the boat hook overboard as I was picking up the boy. So uh, <laughs> Nick jumped in after it. <laughs> We've already lost one overboard. <laughs> And uh, this is the only one we've got, so like we had to get it. One, two, three boats all racing for the channel. So these three boats are heading for the main channel. And we've already been over there and there's really not much room. But I'm sure they'll find a way. I mean, normally we try not to pick up mooring boys because they're expensive. They're about $30. 
but I think in this situation where it's really narrow and tight and there's lots of reefs and coral heads, then we're happy to be in a buoy. Anyway, our radio broke at uh, exactly the wrong moment. Things only ever break when you're actually really needing them. How are you going, mate? I, I just don't think it's fixable. All I'm doing is compressing this. It's just a fucking fault with fucking Garmin and their fucking product development, which is shite. This is the... It's just a line. It's a, it's a lead that goes from that VHF microphone to this command, but it doesn't fit properly. So over the last course of the last two seasons, it's chipped away. And so now there's only this little nub. To, so I'm just, I need to just fix that to that, but there's no way of doing it that I can think of. Short of actually fucking gluing it, but, and I've tried taping it, tape doesn't work, it just. This is really nice here, isn't it? Yeah, there's a reason why it's so popular, I think. It's just beautiful. Well, I'm going to go and do my chores so that I can uh, get on with my day and hopefully spend some time down the beach. I need to find some Wi-Fi. We've been cut off from the outside world for two whole days, which is like really difficult to deal with. I know. I felt like I was missing a limb. I can definitely see why this beach is so popular but it's also a shame because its popularity is kind of it ruins it a little bit the you know water's full of boats and it's just crammed with people and but you can understand why everyone wants to come here and enjoy it so yeah just wish we had it all to ourselves I, we could actually walk across the reef i don't know it's 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 fucking nuts this is uh, even more crowded than the Tobago Keys. I don't think it could get any worse than that. I know. Well, you know, we've no more right to use this than anyone else, so if 100 boats turn up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, everyone, everyone has the right to enjoy the beach. Oh, where are you? So, we finally found our friends. All these pain. <laughs> I think it may be Zord. She's been, uh, she been, <laughs> she been trying to pull that gag on somebody for months. Like the, more, the more you rub it, the whiter it gets. <laughs> but I feel like this bag is a bit shorter. You need to spread it around oh back. Yeah, I'm getting cramp in my arm from rubbing it. <laughs> it's everywhere. I need to use a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> See, nice Gina gave me some clear uh, stuff. It's got clear it. So, soggy bottom. Hey, yeah, so we finally made it. Bad. So, everyone yeah, say hello to our camera. Back. Alison, say hello. Hello, soggy dollar. Well, close your legs. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Good on this video, right? Hey.
great. Yeah. You're looking great. Yeah. 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 Especially with the shorts. <laughs> the shorts. He, he's changed. Like yeah. Okay, this is his fancy outfit. Because you were wearing like bright pink, or was that something yes. else? Yeah, no, that was you. Yeah, that was the last one. Yeah. yeah. So this is like his fancy shorts. Yeah. I like him. The actual, it's blue, but at least you can see. It's not like it's, I mean, it looks kind of freaky. Yeah, this is oh, it's recording now. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's, no, so. that's okay. Oh. It's okay. We just we this edit. is the bit where I edit. We, yeah. <laughs> we edit this shit out. Thank can God. you do some sort of cussing so it can go in the outtakes? No, oh, the cussing goes in the normal episode. For fuck's oh. sake. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> tits up. This whole party's gone tits up. <laughs> this recording's gone tits up. It's right not at really at anybody. <laughs> no, it's at your face. Oh, okay. And and the pole. A little bit of the fan. Yeah. expansion. <laughs> so we're here aboard. Sailing vessel Freebird, hanging out with the crew of Yacht Ruby Rose. I'm kind of a guest host. My name is Bo. My wife Allison is holding the camera. So we wanted to talk to y'all a little bit. You guys, you know, you're on YouTube channel, yeah. by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is too good. YouTube. This is way better than us. Oh, yeah, no, 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 he's no. really good at this. Yeah, yeah. I know. He's happy as fuck. I know. <laughs> no, no, no. So no. these guys. Here's the thing. I don't know. I'll be perfectly honest, I might have seen like one or two of their videos ever. I've seen none. Yeah, no, We sorry. just don't get very good service down here, so it's hard to watch a video. Wow. But On March 15th, I'm going to binge. I'm going to watch all of them at once. Because you'll be in Ohio. Yes. Nobody gives a, a flying well, fuck about Ohio. <laughs> no, no. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Start so, over. So, all right. So, <laughs> I'll be honest, I've really not very seen very many of their videos because we don't get shit for service here in the, uh, the Caribbean. But... These two, I hope it comes across in their videos, but they're fucking awesome. Like, they're incredible people, so fun to hang out with. You would really love to buy them a beer if you ever get the chance. Definitely. So, tell us, why sailing? <laughs> well, how did this happen? <laughs> because if it wasn't going to be sailing, it was going to be drugs and an early death. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, so... It's true. What was the inspiration for sailing? We both wanted to travel. Yeah, and we, we met also. traveling. We met traveling in India and Nepal, so we were kind of already in that zone of exploring. Love at first sight? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're Seriously. sailing love each it, other. Love at first hostel? Love at first hostel. Love at first like train, dodgy train ride out of Delhi, kind of, I don't know, like, it was just... Anyway. It was Here a beautiful are. moment. Was it? Yeah. I don't remember that. No, so I was sailing at the time. I was sailing out of a small club. Yeah. And, yeah, it was just a good escape from my job in London. And we just, it was just a natural extension. We sailed and then had a conversation. Let's sail around the world. I, I, in all fairness, I wanted to sail around the Mediterranean, and Teresa's like, fuck that, let's just go sail around the <laughs> That's world. That's not nearly adventurous enough. Really? Yeah. yeah. Hey like, guys, we're heading out. Oh. Oh. oh! Thanks for inviting us. Absolutely. What are you doing tomorrow? Thank yeah. you for the offer. I'm looking at her tooth. I don't know why she won't take you up. It's oh, not, it's okay. Uh, it's not he doesn't so really know what he's talking about. So Good night. We'll see you we'll tomorrow, see you in the maybe. All right, you guys are going to stay a while? No. Oh, we're probably leaving tomorrow. I mean, hey, you're doing your own thing, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll never come back. Yeah, How's Nick? Times. Come on. Hang on a minute. I think it's... I didn't plan on going solo. Yeah? <laughs> Excellent cobbler. Best set of cobblers on the road. I'm going to go back to that. Debatable. <laughs> so, we motored over to Diamond Key this morning, which is where we are now. Um, this is in Joss Van Dyke. It was only a couple of miles away from White Bay. So we're anchored. It's all good. It's a little bit crowded, but not nearly as bad as White Bay. I will show you. Oh, it's still early, babe. It's still early, though. And our friends Bo and Allison are going to come over, I believe, in about 15 minutes, and we're going to go and check out the Bobbly Pool. Now, the bubbly pool is... What's the bubbly pool? It's fairly self-explanatory. It's a pool that basically fills with seawater through a hole and bubbles up.
over to Bo and Allison's boat. We're going to pick them up and then we're going for a well earned sundowner. It's a little bit early, only four o'clock. I'm running around the road trying to lose some my little <laughs> seven. We found another beautiful Caribbean beach bar and we're sat with our friends Brian Allison having sundowners. Pretty awesome. Um, yeah, this lifestyle. We would probably stay here a very, very long while if it wasn't for us having to leave to go and see our friends. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching that hope you liked it uh please subscribe there we love subscriptions facebook is there and all the other stuff down below please leave comments we love comments and we try and answer them all it makes us feel really connected and we'll see you next week